welcome to our channel and in this video we are going to see how to use exception handling in AirPod Studio and the topics that we are going to discuss is how we can use a try catch activity and then how to use a throw activity and a retro activity and how uh, what is a system exception and what is a business rule exception how, how we can use these two and a try catch and these are the topics that we are going to discuss in this video so uh, before going to the topic if you haven't subscribed to our channel please consider subscribing for more of these videos and if you like this video please give it a like if you have any other doubts mention them in the comment section below so uh, the first thing uh, I will explain is exception handling by taking a simple example of input dialog and we will see how uh, we can use a throw activity there and a retro activity and how we can uh, set the system exception and the business rule exception and all this so the first thing I need to take a input dialog here input dialog and I will ask uh, the user to enter his name 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 and let me create a variable for this one it will be name so name is the output variable for this input dialog okay and let me drag a message box for this to see the output this will be Actually, what we are actually handling in this expression. So, uh, just a simple example for this is uh, I will give Aditya as an input. So, if I get Aditya, then I need to make this as a system exception, or else I will throw it as a business rule exception because a system exception occurs only when uh, there is where when there is an interruption in the activity sequences if I have a 10 sequences over here in, and uh, the error came at the sequence which is in the message box so uh, let me do this way first to show you the system exception I will take a if condition over here and let me name let me take this one name dot equals Aditya. If it is equal to Aditya, then uh, we will uh, display a message box over here stating that and let me copy this one and paste it over here so it will be false. So now, uh, here this is the actual. Uh, uh, this is a sequence so uh, in order to put it in a try catch just press control T so that will make a try catch activity in your workflow or otherwise you can type try catch here try catch and you can drag this out here so simply press by pressing control T you can insert the try catch block and I am dragging the message box on the input dialog inside try catch so this is my sequence in a try catch so uh, here uh, the first one try sequence will be the sequence that is executed uh, first and then it will if there is an any error in this workflow then it go to the catch block after that it will finally executes a sequence uh, after these two this final expression will always be executed whether uh, the try catch is successful or not so uh, here we need to create a add catch whether the expression is a system exception or the business rule exception so we click on the add new catch and we can select the system exceptions or here so uh, this time we will select as a system exception and that and we will drag another message box activity here just say that 
this is a system exception. It is a system exception. Right? Now, uh, let me run this one. So, uh, it is asking for the name. I will make it as Aditya. So, the message box over here, it is Aditya and it is true. And now the execution is completed because uh, there is no interruption in this particular workflow. So, it, it doesn't want to catch. Here it catches the system exception and it, there is no other activity in the finally. So, it, it finishes the execution. Uh, what if I didn't provide any input for this? Uh, input dialog then there is an object reference error in this if condition so it will go to the catch block so there is a null value here because there is a null value this is system exception which occurs in the if condition says the object reference see you can see that object reference not set to instance of an object the error uh, this error we will uh, see when there is a no value or a null value uh, which is passed to this particular condition so if I continue this one, then uh, we can see it doesn't go to, it will now, it will go to catch block here. You can see the system exception, it is the system exception here. Now it came to the catch block. So if I click on continue, it says that it is a system exception. It is. It is a system exception. So this is how uh, the system exception works. Now we will see uh, how a throw activity and retro activity work in this particular scenario. Uh, if there is any interruption, uh, the exception system exception is called. Uh, if there is a business requirement that you need to uh, break down this sequence, if I have a, another sequence. If I have another message box or sequence after this if condition stating that uh, the remaining steps, the remaining steps, so the remaining steps, and if uh, there is a business requirement that if the name is equal to Aditya, then the process need to stop here, and this doesn't need to go to this further step and provide the details of car continue the remaining steps then we need to use a throw activity here uh, the throw activity will stop the workflow that at that particular point and throws it to the catch sequences here exception sequence so what i need to do here in this throw activity is uh, here we need to enter the exception which exception that is uh, it is moving to and here we need to uh, make it as new business rule exception no business rule exception and we need to uh, provide the exception message uh, I will make it as the name is Aditya so this is uh, the business rule exception and here we need to create another uh, here we need to add a ca another catch it is a system exception catch and now we need to add a business rule exception catch so search for business rule exception here you can see the business rule exception so click on that and click on ok here uh, the business rule exception is added to the catch so let me drag another message box here stating that this is a business rule exception and then uh, it is a business rule exception here so if i go here and uh, now uh, if i pass the name as aditya then it will not execute this particular step and it will directly go to this particular business rule exception so uh, let me execute this one and see how it works the throw activity throw activity generally uh, throws the sequence out of uh, the try block and uh, moves it into the catch block so I am giving it as Aditya so it is Aditya now and it is true here it came to this particular step and now it will throw out of this strike to the catch now there is an error here the name is Aditya it is a business exception so if I step into 
this one now it came to the business rule exception here so it is a business rule exception that is has occurred it doesn't go to the system exception because the exception is known for us we uh, we we kept this particular throw in order to in order not to execute all the steps after this particular except exception or the condition is exists so this is how uh, the business rule exception and the system exception goes in air path and how we can use the system exception and the business rule exception by using throw activity and uh, what about uh, the rethrow activity here uh, the rethrow activity is we uh, not we will not use this retro activity in these conditions uh, if there is a throw here then we in the cache block uh, we need to retrow it again to the user then we will use uh, this retro activity so after a business rule exception we are retrowing it uh, back to the throw so uh, we so now uh, let us see how this retro activity works here let me debug this one now the input dialog is on so it is aditya and this is aditya and true now the exception is caught here through the business rule exception if i click on ok if i click on continue then it is a business rule exception and if i click ok then it is it goes to the retro now uh, what the retro says here is the name is aditya and it is rethrowing it to the user so we can see and the source where uh, the throw has become the name is aditya it is uh, rethrowing it to this particular condition of throw here this is how uh, the retro activity works in your path the source is throw so on that it uh, uh, how to use rethrow in your path and now we have seen all the exception conditions that is used in your path studio all the exception conditions uh, the first thing is the system exception uh, if there is any interruption in the workflow then it usually goes to system exception where you need to create an exception an exception here and we need to provide the sequences for uh, what are the sequence or steps uh, in order to work with this particular system exceptions and then if there is a business rule exception uh, the name doesn't if the input dialog presented to user he doesn't need if he enters aditya then we are making it as a suspension of account or something else and we need to throw this as a business exception then we'll use throw activity and we need to write it as new business rule exception and the exception message so after it will throw it to the business rule exception and you need to write another sequences here in order to make the business rule exception work uh, and if after taking this throw then if you need to uh, make it as a runtime throw and throw it to the user then we need to use a retro activity of uh, which which throws this exception back to the uh, throw here here and if there is a if there is no uh, such exceptions caught here it will come to the else block and it will continue with the remaining steps and this is uh, all about the exception handling in a path studio and and there is uh, uh, and there is a one point to remember here uh, after executing the try catch here it is a try block and it is a catch block where we write the exceptions and there is a block which is finally uh, after executing uh, those particular sequences every time it will go to the final block uh, if there is any activity here it always iterates um, it, it always iterates it every time when it is going to back and forth if we make it is in a for, for each loop then it will uh, make how many iterations the for each is continuing it will source you how that many times it is finally block so it will also execute if it comes to the system business will exception also uh, it, it is going to execute this final exception finally block so let me run this one again now i will provide the input as aditya and it will throw it to the business rule exception 
uh, from that it will finally uh, executes the final block and it will end the process so it is a business rule exception if i click on ok you can see uh, it is a final block executed here the finally block is a finally block and the process is successfully completed um, this is how uh, you use try catch activity and throw activity rethrow and how to write a exception when business will exception in your path studio that's it for this video if you like this video please give it a like if you haven't subscribed to our channel please consider subscribing for more of these videos thanks for watching